Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I'm out in the garden. I'm out here pretty early trying to get up and get started before the sun uh, comes out because today I am going to have to spray some BT on my plants, y'all. These pests have come out in droves because we've been having a whole lot of rain. So I am going to mix up some BT today. And here's my BT. And I have my sprayer, which I already have some in, but I'm going to go ahead and add some more. So let's get started, guys. So the first thing that I need to do is to get my BT mixed up. And I am going to add, see if I can get some of these. Got some trash on the top of my sprayer. I don't want that to get inside. I already got a little that went inside when I opened it up. And I hate to waste this, but I don't want that to clog my sprayer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the little that I already had inside of the sprayer so I can get the trash out. And I'm going to add one gallon of water. I'm going to lower the camera so y'all can see. I'm going to go ahead and add my gallon of water. You want to read your manufacturer's directions and follow them for mixing your BT. And I am going to add, because I have a gallon, it says four teaspoons of BT per gallon. So I bought my teaspoon out. Shake it. Make sure you got everything mixed up really well. Y'all, I hate to really use these. Uh, any sort of chemicals in the garden, but desperate times cause for desperate measures, y'all. And as I showed you in some previous videos, that these pests are on a rampage in the garden, especially the tomato hornworm and um, just a, a lot of different worms. I can't identify all of the worms, but I think some of them were the uh, cabbage looper because that's where they were hanging around on my cabbages and then i had got rid of those on the cabbages but some other pest is eating on my peppers now so i want to make sure that i go ahead and uh, take care of those and i'm going to add a little uh dawn so that this bt will be able to stick to the leaves of my plant so it don't say that on my manufacturer's direction side but uh i don't want this to just slide off of my plant so um uh, you know that's a, that's optional if you want to do that but that is not what the manufacturer's direction say but i'm going to give this a shake i'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on Now, BT uh, has been improved. Uh, they say that now it can uh, kill the larva of mosquitoes and flies, whereas the original would take care of the um, larva of cabbage moths and hornworms. So we hope that it takes care of more than that and gets rid of everything that's out here. But we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to... Uh, show you how I'm going to be doing this. So I'm going to start here in this bed. And we have a lot of tomatoes in this bed. And there are also some peppers in this bed. See if I can stand that up. And I'm going to go ahead and take this one off since it is blushing. So I can take it inside. But you want to make sure that you get underneath your uh, leaves really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pump my sprayer up. 
And then you just want to spray your plants really good. So I don't see any damage on these plants right here. So that is the time that you want to go ahead and get this uh, BT on your plants. You want to go ahead and try and do it before the damage has begun. And you also want to uh, do it early in the morning or late in the evening. You don't want to do it when the sun is out uh, blasting. And you want to try and do it after it has rained and not before rain because if you do it before rain then the rain's going to wash it off and you're just going to have to come back out and do it again but you want to get underneath those leaves also because if you just spray the top of the leaves then you might have some larva underneath the leaves and they'll start eating from the bottom of your of the leaves so you want to go ahead and get that plant saturated with the bt and at the same time while you're doing this you can go ahead and try to identify any pests that may be on your plants be on the lookout for horn worms and horn worm droppings or cabbage moth I've got some parsley down here. I'm going to also spray this parsley because those cabbage moths have, I, I've seen them on my parsley and cilantro before. I didn't have a problem with it this season, but last season I did with them getting into my parsley and cilantro. <laughs>
Okay, so now that the sun is coming up, I'll just go ahead and harvest some of my tomatoes. And I will not spray over here in this area since the sun has already come up. Which it has not gotten really hot yet, but I just choose to go ahead and stop at this point. And just go ahead and do some harvesting. Got a few tomatoes, and now I see that there are some banana peppers at the back of the bed. There are some bell peppers that I can go ahead and harvest since I know that I'm going to be uh, spraying BT here this evening. I'll go ahead and harvest whatever I can. See that there is a red pepper in here that I want to go ahead and get. I think that's all for this plant. Okay, there are a lot of tomatoes in here that I can harvest. This plant is looking pretty healthy over here. It doesn't seem to have any uh, pest pressure going on right now. So that's why you want to go ahead and you want to take care of it before the pressure begins, before the pest starts munching on your plant. And I see I have some red peppers in this bed. I need to get my shovel. I tried to pull the red one out of the other bed and pull the whole stem. I'll just go ahead and put it in there. And y'all know, I, I got to uh, clean this bed out, but it has been raining so much. And then you have to come out and try to take care of the pests and all of that. And so you just don't really get a chance to do it all. But I'm going to grab these red peppers that are in here. Uh-oh, my stuff's starting to fall out of my root apron, y'all. I ordered this apron from Kimu. And there is some imperfection to this apron. They didn't put the tabs in the right place, so you get your stuff falling out a lot. Your harvest will fall out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this, and I will take my sewing machine one day and I'll move those tabs because it is a good quality apron it has the fabric and everything is great but i think it was sort of irregular that's why it was cheap i can't remember exactly how much but it was cheap it was half the price or more than half the price of the one that i purchased off amazon so i'm gonna have to do a little work but i still think i got some bang good bang for my buck Go ahead, I'm going to pull this onion out of here. 
It's wet, so I won't put it in my apron. I got a basket over there. I think I need to go and get my basket. So there are some peppers on this plant that I can harvest also. There's some bell peppers. They are not that large, but they are weighing this small plant down. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to harvest them so that this plant can have the energy to produce more peppers. Because this plant is really loaded. It's like four or five that I've gotten so far. Off this tiny plant. Okay, the rest of them on there are small and I'll let them go ahead and stay. And this bed is so full of weeds that I am going to go ahead and remove my onions that I can get to from this bed. And I'm going to use them to make some hot sauce. I'm going to add them to my peppers with some garlic. So you don't have to, if you're going to go ahead and use them, you can just go ahead and, and pull them up. You don't have to worry about curing them or anything like that. You can use them straight from the garden, just like this. And the tops are delicious also. Let's see another one. Okay guys, so this is my early morning harvest. I got some tomatoes. I've got some uh, banana peppers. Got some of my red chili peppers and I got some of those purple peppers. I also have some uh, bell peppers and some onions and I got one egg. We harvested 15 eggs uh, late yesterday afternoon. So uh, I guess they doing a slow morning lay, so that's fine. And um, I hope that you all enjoyed the content of this video. I hope that it was helpful to you all. And I hope that you learned something from it. And if you did, I hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel. And also, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video.